Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Omar and today I will show you how you can use the proper function in Microsoft Excel. This function is used to capitalize the first letter of each string and then make the other letters as lowercase. And now let's go and see how we can use this function. So here I have these data, first name, last name, and number of items ordered. And for the first and last name, the input was from the customers directly when they ordered. And as you can see, customers are using different formats to type their name. For example, some are typing their last name fully capital letter. Some are including capital letters in the middle. Some are using the small letters in the beginning of the, uh, the first name or last name. But I want to have a unified style for them in which the first name starts with capital letter and the other letters are small. And also for the last name, the same thing. So first, I will type equals proper. And I will select all the cells that I want to apply the proper function on. And I will press enter. And as you can see, all the first names and last names now have this style in which the first letter is capitalized and the other letters are small letters. And as you can notice, the numbers are not affected by the proper function and they stay the same. Let me also show you, for example, if you have a sentence. Let's say that I will type the number of orders is big. And as you can see, all the letters are starting with a small letter. And if I apply the proper function equals proper. Now you can see each word is now capitalized at the beginning. And now let's say that I have dates. For example, the deadline for a certain delivery is 23 March 2022. If I apply the proper function to it, it will mess up the dates. So we should not apply the proper function to the dates. Same thing if I have $1,000 here. And if I apply the proper function for it, it will remove the format of accounting or the format of the dollar, and it will only keep the number. So the conclusion is to use the proper function only for texts like strings, for example, one word or a sentence, but you cannot use it on dates or on accounting data. And for the numbers, whether you use it or not, it's the same thing because nothing will be changed. I hope this video was helpful for you to let you know how to use the proper function in an efficient way. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like and share this video with your friends. <laughs>